day one, done and dusted. But first, let's get into the morning weigh-in. Yo, peeps, day 98, the weight loss transformation, mindset transformation, most important thing of all, lifestyle transformation. 341 pounds. This is going to be our starting weight of dropping carbohydrates again for 30 days. Getting the ball rolling, getting racking and rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Our poet didn't even know it. So this video is a bit long, bit of rambling in there, but I think there is some gold actually, especially for for those on their journeys, which tends to be most people watching the channel, let's be real. So I think there is some gold there, some recapping as well of, of the past couple of weeks. I think it's worth a watch, maybe times two speed it if you don't want to sit there all day or just have it on in the background. Definitely think it's worth a watch still. But uh, nutrition today, what food did I eat? I ate chicken wings and hot dogs. Be prepared to see, especially hot dogs over the next couple of days because I did stock up and this is basically what I was eating over the past two weeks and I do mention that in the next bit so I won't get into it too much but I do have a load of hot dogs I need to eat. They're 90% I believe of, of meat and then the rest whatever's in there so not like the 76 or 75% junk that you can get uh, they're, they're a bit higher meat so got to eat through these you'll see them over the next couple of days but let's get into the rest of the video. So I'm recording this one at the end of the day. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Maybe it's better to do it the morning after and, and recap the day because obviously we got the starting weight, 341 pounds, which is pretty much where I was hovering towards the back end of having a few weeks off, to be honest with you, having a couple of weeks off, not eating the best, but not the worst. Not the worst, to be honest. This is pretty normal, actually, where I've ended up at 340 pounds, considering our lowest was 328. Uh, I'm just going to break that down again, even though I did address it. If you're in a calorie deficit and have been in some time, especially the way I was eating, not eating carbohydrates, in a steep, steep deficit, when you start eating more foods, again, even to your maintenance calories, which I wasn't doing, well, maybe some days, but I wasn't tracking, you're going to put on a bit of weight. You're going to start holding on to water, replenish glycogen and things. That's why at my body weight, especially as well, I can go from zero carbohydrates like I was doing to eating carbs and I could put five, six pounds of water on overnight. Is that fat? No, it's just water. And then letting that continue, it can slowly add up. And this is where we ended up. Have I put on a bit of weight? Maybe because I wasn't too active. But to be honest, people, even though I wasn't really showing my food, uh, the, the basics of what I was eating was I was basically following carnivore with some treats, to be honest with you, because I like eating high fat high protein food it doesn't bloat me or anything i don't feel tired after eating it but i was having cookies and sometimes crisps and other things too but for the majority of the time this is pretty much what i was eating with added stuff on top and that's where we pretty much hovered and i haven't gone too crazy you could say what how, how much would it be like 13 pounds or something is a lot of weight gain and and to be honest it is but i don't necessarily think there was too much fat in there so I, i'm predicting like i said tomorrow like i wouldn't be surprised if five pounds is off tomorrow when we get on the scale again so 341 pounds i think that's a pretty good place that 328 we had was extremely low as well so I was hovering around the 330s regardless. So 10, 11 pounds up is to be expected when you're in a diet or not. And I know I don't want to repeat myself too much, but we went from uh, not eating carbohydrates to doing so. Not that I'm... I'm trying to stress the point that I'm really not worried about the weight gain and I want to get the reality of going from a diet and a steep deficit to not because I know people are... A lot of the people that watch the videos in the comments of things are, are reaching the ends of their journeys and I just want to actually hammer home that point is you might need to go a little bit further than you think because once you start incorporating a bit more food the scale is just going to go up it just is so i don't want people to feel bad if they're aiming say for 200 pounds and they hit that 200 pounds and then think great i'm going to stop now i'm going to start including more foods and then you put on five six pounds i know it can be kind of tough mentally if you're not aware of why that is so sometimes if you're aiming for 200 pounds and you want to kind of maintain that you might even have to hit 195 190 because as soon as you start eating more food again in itself you're going to put on a bit of weight so you don't like say i'm aiming for 300 pounds i don't get to 300 pounds start eating maintenance calories at 300 pounds and then suddenly maintain 300 pounds i know it kind of doesn't make sense as you think that's what you should be because you're eating what your body does and maybe after a bit of time you will level out at that point but that immediate at least first couple of weeks you're going to see some weight gain so it's i'm just using myself as an example as to not be worried but also just be a bit cautious because if you do set that 
um, target weight, you have to be a bit careful because you, you might want to go just a bit below it if possible to then once you start eating more food again, you don't suddenly put on five, six pounds and then feel bad about it. It's normal. You can just pull it off again slowly, really slowly. I think that's uh, probably the best thing to do, to be honest, if you have a goal weight in mind, really, is to uh, go a bit below it or even just reach it know that you're going to go up a bit in weight for for a little bit couple of weeks or so as you start eating more foods incorporating more calories to your maintenance calories and then just know peace of mind that it is going to come off even if you go in a tiny tiny deficit again like i'm talking 100 200 calories um just below maintenance so you kind of adjusted to eating that volume of food but it's just that little bit lower that you you're going to just pull down slightly um i don't know how i've suddenly turned uh, this video into talking about this i was just going to recap the get uh, recap the day but it, I, I hope that's some value from me probably not because I don't really uh, word these the, the best but hopefully you understand what I'm saying you're going to be you got to be careful peeps if you're aiming for 200 pounds you might have to go a little bit lower is what I'm trying to say or you go away it might be 150 pounds so don't be too surprised if you go from dieting to seeing the scale go up. It is can be tough mentally, especially after you put in all that work, but it's normal what's going to happen. And this might come across as me justifying my weight gain. Like I said, I'm holding my hands up. I wasn't doing properly. I wasn't even tracking the calories, but I'm proud that I came on and uploaded still every single day, even if the videos weren't the best. And that's kind of uh, the problem I put myself in with saying I was going to do the daily uploads. Even if I wasn't eating the best, even if I wasn't feeling the best, even wasn't making the best videos, I still came on and put myself out there and got on that scale every single day and showed you even if the scale was going up i knew it was going to go up i didn't really care because all it's going to do is go down again once we once we get going again and to be honest with you peeps this is what i was talking about doing anyway i, I was talking about actually having a maintenance break and to be honest it, it's one of the smartest things you can do in losing weight i didn't tackle it the best because i wasn't really tracking calories and things but i was kind of eating intuitively and I'm kind of glad that worked too. I, I do wish I did speak about this more in the video about uh, what I was eating and things, but I just didn't feel like getting on the camera to be honest when I didn't feel well. And I don't know, I was a bit, being a bit of a, not a cry baby per se, but I was a bit bummed that I couldn't be making the videos I wanted to make anyway. So I was just like, I'm gonna just upload, do what I can, can do and then we'll get to it in the end. So it seems like a long time and it kind of is. Uh, it, it's been a lot of videos obviously because I do the daily thing, but, I just want to go over that point again. Haven't gone crazy on food. I mean, in two two weeks or whatever it was, almost three weeks, 10, 11 pounds, maybe a bit more, 13 pounds, really isn't that bad from going from dieting to not and having a birthday and actually eating some foods outside what I would be eating. Haven't had a pack of cookies and eaten like four of them. Literally might have like one, maybe two, right? Might have a bag of crisps and even a cookie, which isn't that there's levels to a lot of normal people would do that even though they might not admit it and things how many people you see like maybe at your work or something that are skinny eating i don't know they might even eat the four pack of cookie they might have a packet of crisps i wasn't even eating that much right it's kind of normal and it's not too bad as long as you don't go crazy on the other foods and i was eating kind of high fat uh, lower carb foods I was, I was basically living off chicken wings and hot dogs and that's why i've still got loads of them and that's what i'm going to be eating at the moment as well just for the next couple of days to to eat them through before i ha bang on back on the beef because that's the best for you so turning into a bit of a ramble as per but I, i'm just slightly proud of myself that uh, I haven't fallen off. It might seem that way because there was a bit of weight gain. But like I said, as soon as I drop the carbs again and whatever, we're going to see five, six, seven pounds come off in a week. Uh, so we'll, we'll not far off where we were, to be honest, people in this span of time. And why I just wanted to mention maintenance, it's better to do it in a smart way other than me, but actually kind of maybe uh, calculating the calories and sticking to those. But I'm just proud that I was able to kind of eat intuitively, eat what I, I wanted to, and I know treats me well, like, well, I was eating a lot of burgers as well, but the, the store made ones, not just the ground beef made into them, chicken wings, hot dogs, which sounds kind of bad, but if you follow them in a carnival diet and you look into actually the nutrition from these things, it isn't the worst, it's actually quite good for you to an extent, and it's better than me eating like cereal and stuff every day, so that, and then still having the treat and thing, and, and not going absolutely crazy, not going to the shop buying everything not eating it all in one day feeling guilty and go oh, i'm gonna get back on it tomorrow i kind of was just balanced and balanced to an extent but 
enjoying things still every single day without binge eating them all and like i said it's that cycle of eating all this stuff feeling bad about it and going right i'm not going to do that again go a couple of days and then do it again haven't really felt the need to do any of that i know i did have a couple of things but it's not that bad and it's pretty normal like i said most people you find be having i don't know chocolate bars and other things too throughout their their day the majority does and i'm talking not people that are even overweight people that are a healthy normal weight having i don't know croissants and things it's not that i was eating these things i'm just trying to say that you shouldn't demonize foods to an extent because it doesn't really matter a lot of people are going to eat some higher calorie things as long as the bulk of your calories aren't in that and it's just a bit of that you're going to see no problems at all you you might see a bit of weight gain like i did most of that's water to be honest with you so it's, it's going to come off we'll be back to where we were and then we'll just crack on and exceed anything we've done already this next phase i'm very very excited for very very motivated and sorry i, I wanted to keep this to, to maintenance you're better off and i was talking about it from the start you can go back to the earlier videos i was talking about maybe after 50 pounds even after my birthday take a little maintenance break and i know getting sick and stuff in that time maybe i could have started a bit earlier but we're here now it doesn't matter but people would take you're better off in the science I, I'm, I'm quoting the science i don't mean to do that uh, i've just heard other people say this so i'm not no scientist i don't know what the studies are i've heard people regurgitate it and i'm regurgitating it back to you so i i feel kind of wrong for saying that i don't want to get into science stuff but supposedly the long-term science is that the long-term results with weight loss is that if you take breaks along the way you lose a chunk you go a few months maybe 90 days maybe eight weeks or something and then just have a period of time adjusted to to your new calorie amount chill out for a little bit give your body a break and then make that push again for the next whatever you need to obviously if you're heavier you might want to take a bigger chunk out like 50 pounds but and as you go down maybe it's Towards your goal, you work for 15 pounds over eight weeks or, or 90 days, and then you take a break. So there, there is evidence out there. I, I don't claim to know everything. I don't even have the studies. I have read certain things. I can't name them now. I don't know. But having those breaks as you're going down is supposedly very good for your weight loss. And I think that's what's worked with me this time like i said i know the scale's gone up but i really don't care it's normal and we can just get back to it we've taken the break and it might let us carry on digging maybe having these couple of weeks off and then getting back to it will see us uh, results even faster because now the body's kind of rest recuperated and now we're ready to go again to make that push is ready to go again if that makes sense so uh, a lot of rambling here so I, I do apologize peeps i just literally turn on this camera and we'll see what comes out and this is what it this is what's come out so hopefully that does make sense i'm just saying maybe a maintenance break was was good for me um but i i'm looking forward to getting going properly and seeing that 300 pounds that's definitely my goal that's definitely my target and who knows maybe me saying all this once we hit 300 maybe i'll take a little break again likely we'll go for 300 to 310 if i take a little break even tracking my calories and being smart with it and then we make that push for for 200 and not too crazy maybe maybe even 275 and then take another break this channel is here for the long haul we're not wanting to do this ever again so i want to be smart with it if it takes a bit longer if i take breaks it guarantee you i guarantee you it will be a life change and you won't have to do this again you take it a bit slower you, you work hard you push through and then you take that little break rest recovery you ain't going to be rebounding you ain't going to be regaining and I think this has worked perfectly and it's actually, I before I end up, it's probably, and I should have said this earlier, I think it's actually been my best attitude to food for a long time, for a long, long time. Years and even when I was skinny and ripped and a bit more jacked, I was definitely still kind of in a more binge cycle, uh, but I would snap out of it quickly and just get back to it. Whereas now I've definitely, like I said, having food, even my girlfriend was ordering like bits of food and stuff while she's been here and I wasn't eating any of it. I wasn't having the takeaway. She got food for herself. Uh, places, food places are doing things, new things that we want to try, summer menus and whatever. And I didn't even eat it. Or I might have had like a tiny thing like she had Burger King the other day because they have halloumi fries and she's a halloumi fry addict. And then they had these uh, Fanta like slush puppy type things. So I had one of them. And I ate hot dogs. 
I ate my normal hot dogs that I enjoy, and they're pretty high uh, meat ones, not too processed. I think they're like 90 something percent meat as opposed to like 70 something. So they're, they're pretty good hot dogs. And I, I just had the, the Fanta slushy thing, which is basically just chemicals, to be honest with you. So it's not even major high calorie. And that's all I wanted because I didn't really want the other food. So it's these attitude changes. And why I say that as well, before I go, right, I'm not actually making the proper videos. I, I'm sick. I'm not dieting properly right now. Let's just eat whatever I can because then I'll get back to it. I, I've gotten, gotten away from that mindset and was just, yes, I, I had the odd treat and, and whatnot. But it wasn't that. I didn't feel guilty about it. And it wasn't a tre tremendous amount of it in one go. So it's just a huge win. I know I've been absolute rambling. I'm even going pink in the face. Uh, I do go red very easily. But I I'm just happy, man. I I'm actually just... I haven't really reflected on it like that. And it's... I don't know. I, I'm actually almost smiling here uh, talking about it. That it's something I didn't really even think about and just been too aware of that just my attitude to the, to the foods have changed and that diet all or nothing mindset of like when I said I binge man I would have gone to the shop and spent like 20 30 pounds which is probably I don't know 40 50 dollars um on just junk and would have tried to eat as much as I can would have felt bad maybe even given some of it away saying right that's the last of it and then I'll buy it again two days later <laughs> so to not do any of that is is just a huge win and just make your smart choices, know what feels good to me. And that's why we're doing the zero carbohydrates. Do I want to do it forever? No, that's why I'm saying that 30 days, then we'll see. Maybe I want a refeed day. I think the refeed days as well, that's why I want to mention as well. Sorry, this is so long me rambling, but I feel it's important to talk about. I think those refeed days really help my, my outlook and mindset too on the foods. Whereas yes, cutting out carbohydrates can be very restrictive and it might seem that way, but then having that weekly day where I knew I could eat some if I wanted to, it just removed the power from them. And I know this is what I was saying uh, before I was getting in on my birthday and things, but it did remove the power from them. And I think that really, even having, how, how long did we do it for? Like three three different refeeds, maybe four, I think. Um, just remove the power from the food for me. And I think that really, really helped. So doing the 30 days and then maybe we'll see. I might purposely... I'm not going to worry about what I'm going to do then. We'll take it as we go. I know I've got the 30 days in front of me, but I might purposely have a refeed day just to, uh, after the 30 days, just to knock out any craving things, even if I don't particularly want to. I, I probably will by that point, let's be real. There'll probably be something I want to eat, but it's to purposely not go too long without certain things. I think that really kills you. And I know that sounds ridiculous coming from someone who is cutting out full food group for 30 days, but... 30 days isn't too long really peeps and I, I i enjoy this way it's not going to be a slog for me that's what i mean as well and who knows i might not want the refeed day i like i said actually maybe i shouldn't say that i don't want to be saying what i'm going to do in 30 days when i've got 30 days or something in front of me but maybe it's just a thought maybe i actively do that to uh to blunt any pushing it too long and then suddenly snapping type thing they do say as well sorry before i end up i, I saw it on youtube or something uh supposedly a nutritionist again maybe with the science stuff can't confirm any of it just telling you what i've been told that if you're afraid to eat something i think it was like reese buttercups or, or something like that uh, to try and break your kind of mindset on them saying oh i can't eat this can't eat this too bad too bad is actually purposely eat one every single day and then you kind of get bored of it you might even want more than one like for the first few days or you might not want it at all and then you realize like the power's gone from it you don't really want it anymore so it's one of those things uh, i don't know that was, we're getting on too long uh, hopefully you did get something again from this video peeps looking forward i'm interested to see what the weighing is tomorrow i was saying i wouldn't be surprised at five pounds or so but i did eat a fair amount of food to be honest, I did eat a fair amount of food today. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I, I know there's going to be a drop for sure. Just depends how much it is. But that's it from me. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Peace.